So I want to talk to you about our physical pillar of the seven pillars of excellence. So the physical pillar is all about getting swole, baby. It's all about getting swole. Actually, that's not true. It's all about being your physical best, right? Because I think a lot of times that we as Catholics, we, we emphasize and we focus on now, uh, you know, chastity and, and, and theology of the body and how we should care for our body in that way, which is so important. But we're also stewards of our body. Like that's what theology of the body teaches us, right? That we're supposed to be good stewards of our body, which means we also have to take care of our bodies. That means that we have to stretch. That means we have to exercise. There's not a doctor in the world that debates whether or not exercising is good and, and helpful and, and, and good for your body and good for your health, good for your mental health, your spiritual health, your emotional health, your physical health. But for some reason, we as Catholics just neglect it. We're just like, oh, I don't have to do that. I don't really enjoy it, you know? And it's not everybody's got to be benching and squatting and deadlifting. You know, that's not what we're going to teach you. We're not going to say everybody has to love CrossFit like Leanne and I love CrossFit. But we do have to find something that's going to push us and help us to challenge ourselves physically because all that's going to intertwine into our spiritual lives, into our mental toughness, into our relationships. Everything improves. When we become more disciplined in one area, that discipline automatically is going to penetrate the other areas of our life. And we're going to grow in virtue in every way. And so that's so important. So we're going to talk about fitness. We're going to talk about diet. We're going to talk about rest. And we're going to talk about how you can live a healthy life so that you can maximize your full potential with your health.